What? Geocaching.com's Geocache of the Week is only two miles from my house? Let's go find it. It is Joshua, the geocaching blogger, and I'm out here in a winter wonderland in Minnesota. It's about 10 degrees out, but I'm going geocaching. But I'm excited because this week on geocaching.com, there was a geocache of the week called Fire and Ice. And this geocache was only a few miles away from my house. So you know what I had to do. I had to get out here and make sure I found this geocache. It's been on my radar for a while. I'm excited about it. And guess what? You get to come along with us. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, I'm here, I am at stage one, and stage one is bringing me ground zero to this tree, and if I look up there, I think I spotted something up in the tree. It is an official geocaching game piece. Do not remove. And I'm guessing on the other side, there are coordinates, let's see. There it is, the full coordinates for the next location. I'm gonna put these coordinates in my GPS, and I'll meet you guys at stage two. Let's go. Alright guys, I am at stage two. And I'm super excited because I don't think I've ever seen a geocache quite like this. Stage two brought me to this whole contraption here. So here's what we got. We got the geocaching symbol right here. And then this cracks me up. Notice, geoclimate monitoring station. Do not disturb. And then there's a padlock to open it. And then on the outside, you can see there's some sort of sensor right here. All right, so the cache page gave me the code for the padlock. So I'm gonna open this padlock up and we're gonna see the surprises that wait us inside. All right guys, now I have the padlock open and now let's open it up and see what it makes. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got some sort of electrical display here that is not turned on. We have this says, please tuck battery connector before closing, battery holder. So in here, it looks like I need to connect a nine volt battery. So, uh, okay, let's do that next. So I have the battery connected and once I connected the battery, the geocache digitally gave me a message and you gotta check it out. It's telling me things, this geocache is speaking to me. It says here, this is a geocache. All right, it says, in order to find the next stage, 40 degrees hotter or colder is all that is required. Gently use the probe and your source of hot or cold to unlock the coordinates to the next stage. Use of fire will damage the cache. And then it says, ready? It says the air temperature I believe is 19 degrees Fahrenheit and the probe is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have to get this probe 40 degrees hotter to unlock the next stage to the final of the geocache. I surely don't wanna go 20 degrees colder because it's 19 degrees, and that would mean I'd have to find something that's 20 below zero. Um, so I did bring some hand warmers with me, but maybe I'm gonna try my regular just body heat and just see if that will warm it up to about 60 degrees. So let's try it. I'm gonna warm up my hands with my breath, see if my hands are 60 degrees, and see if I can get this unlocked. Holding on to it. And we're watching it go up. 32, 34, I gotta get it to 60 degrees. 49, 50, 51, only nine more degrees, eight more degrees. 53. 54, come on, I gotta get to 59. 55, 55, 56, it's slowing down, it's slowing down, come on. Come on, I need some heat. Come on, 57, 58, one more degree, one more degree, no hand warmers needed, just my warm hands, come on. Come on, 59. Oh, now it's 20 degrees outside, now I gotta get up to 60. Come on, come on, 60, come on. Rub it a little bit, maybe. Oh, 60 degrees, there it is. Congratulations! The next stage can be found at, and then I'm gonna cover it up for you guys. The amazing thing, as soon as the probe starts cooling off again, the coordinates go away. I was able to warm it up 40 degrees just with my hands because it's so sticking cold out here. All right, we got the quartz. We're gonna head to the final cache and complete this amazing geocache. 
All right, guys, I'm approaching the final stage of this geocache. Right underneath these trees by this rocks. Let's go see if it's over there. All right, guys, you gotta love it when an incredible multi ends with a nice big ammo can in the woods. I'm gonna open this up, sign it, get the smiley, and I just wanna thank you guys so much for coming along on our adventure. And I also wanna thank Beef LNJ for hiding and creating this amazing geocache. It is geocachers like you that make our hobby one of the most incredible hobbies in the world. If this is your first time watching the geocaching vlogger, I wanna encourage you to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you're ever in the Minnesota area, make sure you check out this cache because this cache can only be found in Minnesota, like the hat says.